protesters in Sana'a call it Change Square. The tent city at the heart of the protests against the regime of Yemen's president, Ali Abdullah Saleh. They organize here, sleep here, eat here, pray here. They don't dare go home. They're under siege. Government snipers fire from rooftops, tear gas, water cannons. It comes from everywhere. This is my country. It's been a year of unspeakable violence. Over 300 dead, thousands wounded. Snipers target doctors, opposition leaders, journalists. But still they stay. One of the bravest, Khalid Al Hamadi, 16 years in journalism, tireless recorder of a battle for the simplest of human rights. I faced many dangers during my 16 years of work as a journalist in Yemen, like uh, detention, kidnapping, harassment, interrogation, and threats. My uh, family members and kids were facing risks because of my work as a journalist in Yemen. Camped out in Change Square, trying to tell the story of his country. Less than 24 hours later, cameraman Saleh al hetari is hit by a sniper's bullet. Khalid has been reporting on what's going on in Yemen long before the Arab Spring grabbed the world's attention. A journalist skilled in every medium, writing, photography, freelancing to many of the major newspapers and publications around the world. Now he's at Al Jazeera, still working under constant threat. Colleague Hashim al herbara says he's one of the best. Reporting in a place like Yemen is almost like tiptoeing through the minefield. Khalid is such a brave and candid person. He's been arrested, kidnapped, his camera broken, his cell phone contacts copied. But this has not stopped him. I decided to be a journalist in Yemen to fight corruption, to contribute in democracy, and to defend human rights. This is his country, a place of stunning beauty and great poverty, the poor cousin of the Arab world, thrust into the spotlight 10 years ago by Al Qaeda. One of the top journalists in the country, yet always ready to help when foreign reporters parachute in from abroad. Khalid Al Hamadi, honored for his courage, respected for his journalism, determined to make the voices of others resound around the world.